Here at the Manchester Craftsmen's Guild, this wall of art is unmasking the stigma around mental illness. Making that mask, you can enter into this your own conversation, but a community conversation about mental health. The display is part of the I'm Fine project. Co-curators Carrie Bresci and Maureen Joyce are the artists behind it. We give them a prompt, and that prompt is, what mask do you wear in order to portray, hide, or minimize maybe your own mental health struggles? And it's about being able to articulate that through the process of art. You know, many times when you're in adolescence, you know, you're struggling with expression, you're struggling with how to talk about these things, and art gives you a way to talk about it in a maybe unconventional way, something that you're not used to. For them, the mission is deeply personal. I'm Fine began in 2019 after I lost my son. He completed his life. And in the sadness of, as you can imagine, I wasn't able to function as a teacher, an artist, and a friend. I, it took me a long time, but finally I went out to my studio and I started working with the clay. And in that process, I realized how helpful that was to me. Joyce and Bresci say at first it was just going to be one workshop, but that quickly changed. That one workshop has now turned into four years of about 70 workshops. And we realized how much this world needs the conversation about mental health and mental illness and how much teens really need to talk about it. These masks were made during residencies at Prashir High School and University Prep. Next spring, their work will travel across the state to join more than 1,500 other masks in one big exhibit. I think it's really empowering for the artists to come to those exhibits and see their mask and share their mask with their families. Their families, many of them had no idea that they were working on such projects. Joy says I'm Fine has let her share her son's story while helping other people heal too. You never know who's struggling and Pat has helped us realize that if we just reach out and help one person and we're succeeding in our project. Michelle Wright, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. What a great project. And to learn more about the mental health conversations happening in our area, you can head to our website to watch Sunday's episode of WTAE Listens. All you have to do is go to WTAE.com and click the WTAE Listens tab. There you'll find all of our in-depth coverage of important issues that matter to you.